I have spent my life being a country editor and maybe 14 years as a politician as well. You know, we were always a happy family. Tragedy hit us, but we came through tragedy and we survived and thrived. My father died when I was seven. He had pneumonia and we lost the family plantation because of five cent cotton all in three months' time. My mother was an absolute marvel. She got a job teaching for $50 a month. For many people, it was very difficult times. My mother said to me every day, to whom much is given, much is required. I learned to be very resourceful back then. In the seventh grade, my English teacher said we all should make a newspaper and bring it to the class. I was absolutely charmed that I could make a newspaper, writing by pencil and on butcher paper from a store. But I fell in love with writing then, and I've been writing ever since. I went to Arkansas A&M College, and when I was 16, I worked in the library. I ultimately became the postmistress at the college post office, and anything else that came along as an opportunity. I was a senior when I got to LSU, but I enjoyed it most because they produced the college newspaper. First semester I was there, I was a reporter. And thereafter, I was campus editor of the Reveille, the student newspaper. After we married, the opportunity came open for the purchase of the Dumas Clarion. Well, that was too good an opportunity to pass by. And I was so happy we got the Clarion because we owned it for 44 years and enjoyed it so much. And it was a family business. There were always contentious issues in the newspaper business from the beginning. One of the most contentious of all was the integration of the schools, of course. And I dared to write some editorials and we were threatened because of my editorials. But we stood firm and peaceful integration did come to Deshea County. I was always interested in politics, my family during our evening meal, always talk politics from the time I was a youngster. Realized that uh, there was a need for women in politics and decided if, I, if an opportunity opened, well, I would try to go for it. And so I talked to my husband at lunch and we went back to the paper and I said, hold the front page. I'm gonna run for state representative. I'd served 14 years in the House. We had the ethics bill and, and Governor Clinton wanted uh, Bynum Gibson and myself to be the sponsors and we were and we got it passed through the House and took it to the Senate where the Senate killed it. And then it went to a, a citizen initiative by petition and Governor Clinton sir, signed the petition on my shoulders. And that was really one of the top things of my life because having the people vote for it and pass was a real achievement. Along the way, there were so many people that helped me and offered me help. I'm very grateful, uh, I'm very honored. I never gave up. If I had a goal in mind, I just kept on going. So I think that you have to have moral courage, and you have to have stamina, but you had to love what you were doing, and I did.